Following the deadly school shooting in Florida last week, threats, mostly through social media, began surfacing at schools in several Kentucky counties. Police have made arrests in some of the cases, and though nothing more than threats, it's plenty to raise concern in the current climate. It is sad. It is really sad. Report after report of threats made on Kentucky middle and high schools since last week. In many cases, police tracked down those believed to be behind it. They, they actually handled it pretty quick. Like in Jesmond County, police arrested 18-year-old Tristan Kelly and 19-year-old Cody Ritchie. The two are accused of circulating these pictures on social media, sparking fear and concern. Everybody takes it seriously. There were um, kids that were actually talking about not even going to school Monday or Tuesday because of that. Across the state, similar stories in several counties. When I was growing up, going to school, you never heard of it. Tammy Cole lives in southeast in Kentucky where several threats were made. In Clay County, police arrested a 13-year-old boy they say made a threat on the middle school. In Jackson County, a 15-year-old girl is in custody and charged for terroristic threatening at the high school. More arrests made in Knox County where police charged three people. There were also reports of threats in Whitley, Madison, and Fleming counties. Oh, yeah. Cole says regardless of how serious you think it might be, you have to be cautious. The Florida shoot, and they say they were warned. Director of Kentucky Center for Fair School Safety, John Akers, pushing for tough consequences. If you're going to change behavior, there's got to be a meaningful consequence to this, so I hope the courts will support the school districts and uh, uh, punish these kids accordingly. A sentiment echoed by others. I don't care how old you are, if you're old enough to do the crime, you should be old enough to face as an adult. Just today, a 15-year-old was charged with second-degree terroristic threatening in Rockcastle County. This comes after the student was heard making threats to multiple people at the high school during school hours over a two-week time span.